Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amuls Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about calendar module. By using calendar module methods we can print the calendar of a month or a whole year. To do that first we need to import calendar module. So import calendar ok. Next we will see how to print the calendar of a month. For that we will use month method which is belong to calendar module and inside the print statement I will mention calendar dot month and here first I need to mention the year so I will mention as 2000 and next the month I will mention month as 4 that is April January is 1, February is 2, March is 3 and April is 4. Next if you want you can mention the width and the length and now I'll press enter and here we can see the calendar for the April month. Next we will see how to print the calendar of whole year. For that we will use calendar method. So print inside that calendar dot calendar. First is the module name, second is the method name and inside that first we need to mention the year, I will mention 2000 and here we can see if you want we can mention the width, length and here we can see C equal to 6 this is the distance between 2 months and here M equal to 3 nothing but the month will print in the 3 columns. If you want you can change this value for now I will maintain the same and enter and here we can see Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June till December right. Okay next we will see the weekday method so calendar dot weekday and here we need to mention the year and month and the date. So I'll mention today's date. Okay, next enter. And here we can see 3. Today is Thursday. Actually, index of Monday is 0, Tuesday is 1, Wednesday is 2, and Thursday is 3. Today is Thursday. So here we can see 3. It is the third day of this week. Next we can find out whether the year is leap year or not by using eSleep method that is calendar dot eSleep and here we need to mention the year. I'll mention 2000 and here we can see true. Actually 2000 is a leap year right and if you see Uh, 2017 sorry spelling mistake this calendar dot is leap and 2017 is the false this is not the leap year right next we can find out the number of leap years between two years by using leap days method for that calendar dot leap days and here we need to mention the years I want to find out the number of leap years between 2000 and 2017 so I'll mention 2000 2017 and here we can see 5 that is 2000 2004 2008 2012 and 2016 so there are 5 leap years between 2000 and 2017 if you want more information about this calendar module then you can just type help and calendar and enter and here we can see the all the information about calendar module and the methods belongs to calendar module that is ease, leap, leap days, month. Okay this is about the calendar module in python programming language. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'll meet you in the next class. Till then, take care.